Get this explosive Joker offense, getting the stop is Swag War, so we'll deny that opening start, and they'll get the boost down court. They will be at ceiling, they'll find possession, and they'll take this shot in the law, putting three of nice quick passes here, sending it up to the top. Lovely pass there, passing it back. Uh, legit now holding it. Stun's there, lovely stun. Oh, lo Sending that one cross, gonna be ahead of its target, but pursuing it will be Team Gravity. Viatrex now down to the floor. Does this angle exist? And it does, that pass to Lowrider. Viatrex shows has improved over their current games. Stacks are out, both stacks are getting really close as a blue team flubs their matches. Average Joes puts it in for two, Taco wow. Pig not taking any time. A lot of stuns coming through now at the floor, will be picked up and set back towards that bubble, looking above the goal and the slap from Acorn will finish that one off. Getting the grab on that will be Ghost Duck. He's trying to get that dribble through mid. It will be picked up by Ryra. Ryruff sending that pass forward. This is a chance. And Ghost Duck put the save, denying that. It's shut down by this defense. This defense is going to find that clear through. Now they're on offense. Now they're going to take this shot. And Ollie, we talk about Ollie, and Ollie does it right around. Yeah, as you said, Mad was not looking at the cut passes. He was expecting a shot there. As Mad with the long shot off the backboard, not gonna get oh, saved oh, by oh, oh, oh. one. As that's gonna bounce off the crossbar. Yeah, nice move by Citizen, but not quite able to finish. Elusive uh, picks it up. Zucks hanging out on the shield, but to the backside. Jake Tabaka. But shutting that one down will be Winter on the back line. Yeah, as he clears it down midfield, both the stack from Intoxicated super quick coming in and will be Winter first. Shock sending it near side, looking to get it to Essen. Essen able to play that one off the wall. Essen goes back to Sports. Sports back to Link 1. Link 1 setting up. Chuck not North. Nathan, the uh, pass getting stunned out. Spoon with the pickup and the shot. What a shot there from Sir Captain Spoon. Immediately turning over Caption. Gets it up to Mamba. Mamba flings it through as he gets stunned out. Steel Skydiver with the tap back in. Saluna with the empty goal. You can't. You can't do that. Here. Here's a Lancashire. Accent and it's one of the my favorite accents British accents. So it sounds so clean. That shot's gonna be good That's the Ice on the cake denied by Hiroshi walking it downfield the stack will be there. Hopefully his teammates calling Is it a good thing? It is! It's a bucket! Hiroshi!
happened. Uh, they'll still be there for the recovery. They stack them, meeting them along the line. So there is going to be a shot from the Ooh. bottom line and right into the goal. Mail it in. It's Franz. In a row, shots, two shots in a row, fine. Three in a row, that's where snowballs begin. Ooh, the single shot. They have another opportunity here. Mozzie. That was, that was a great read. Next tech, Farsa. Ooh, nice swim move. Next tech down to the floor to the Sosa. Sosa gonna set up Scarborough. Scarborough looking for the cut pass. Hits the next tech and he brings it in for the two. What a play there. I don't know, looking maybe for the dribble with his teammate. I'll just bounce off the wall, but Steph over. Nice recovery. Ooh. Maybe a long shot and it will go wow. in. Wow. For the three from 40 meters. Quickly closing that gap. Very nice. Very much appreciated. Now the pass comes up to Lucy Knight. Lucy Knight going for a 1v1 and he will get it off the back but to put it in for the two. Hernandez is going to get that one cleared out as the chains get together and uh, chase after that one down into the Lumi Duty bubble. A Ender with a hand on it. Ender up to Andy and a good stop there by Witt. And Witt's going to get the clear out here as this one's through the near side tube all the way down into the four kings bubble here that's four on zero ready uh scoring um nearly as many points in this round as they did uh in round one jim looking for the pass to kaz kaz with the juke and the slam oh a nine point lead and finding the stop there will be clockwork and that's not good in this long shot coming through that's gonna be good for Emil. they're looking to recollect the disc but if Maybe the other team can get it. They might get a scoring opportunity. And John does recollect over to Hyper Infinity and Hyper. In the orange, uh, that is Gen Z on the right in blue. I am Monster Wing, joined by Sony Shasato see on the cameras and Sputnik Cobra in the studio with us as Aaron Knight gets the first goal there. Three points on the board for a moon face with the clear. Clear's going in, and it looks like Saluna's going to be right there with an open goal. Has to pass out. Moonface, though, finding the low Ooh. side. Oh, they're fighting Victus. Reindeer with the disc, but it gets caught up by Rummy and Rummy. dedicate one person uh, to that disc in the middle and they have three people sending up along the mid side so they have the re-grabs until they reach that bow tie section and until wait a minute okay okay just okay thanks for Hello and welcome to VRML2. This is your host, Luke. Alongside me, for the first time, is Bloomy. Definitely a huge shout out to him. First cast, welcome to the VRML production team. And on cams, as always, is Newton Dad. This couldn't be possible without him. So huge shout out is there. Boy, do we have a match tonight. We have the best team names in the world. We have a bunch of baby ducks against the retro rejects. Bloomy, are you excited? Yeah, I'm really excited for this match. It should be a really interesting one. Both teams tied for MMR here. It's always good to see. Also, these teams are only two ranks apart. So this should definitely be an exciting match. Also, don't go too far away as we are following up this match directly with Bangarang against Rush, two diamond teams that are also one rank apart. So we have a schedule for you today. Man, I'm excited. Gloomy, what do you really expect to see from these teams? Well, I haven't watched a lot of NA games here, but I'm expecting to see some high-scoring gameplay here. Not yeah, sure. for sure. Are you OC? Yeah, I'm OC. So it's like a whole different dynamic with the gameplay. 
Yeah, wow. So if you showed it to OC, that means it's like, what, like 12 noon for you. So, wow. All right. Cool. Cool. All right. So we are going into round one. Huge shout out to Bloomy. OC, represent. Here we go. Bloomy, take it away. So they're going to go for Joust here and see which team can get Joust. It should be like... It's the first goal here, so whoever gets it can change the whole match. They really can. Tyrant now with the disc. Tyrant chaining it downfield. Get a little bit of lag, but connecting to H2. H2 with the disc. No, gets stolen by Lynch. Lynch clearing it downfield, but getting stunned in turn. It's going to be Tyrant once again now. Clearing it backfield. What a back and forth game. But Lynch going for the long three. Oh, it's not good as it bounces off the post. And they're not there to recover. Going to be clearing it out here, and... They're picking up the disc. Alright, Folksy now clearing it up to Lynch. Lynch taking a look. Lynch cut to Folksy. Folksy slamming Lynch it in. Down. Love and respect makes it work. Two points on the board for the Retro Rejects. Crazy save there, but then getting stunned out. By Crystal Sun. Absolutely. You love to see it. You love to see that team play. You love to see the stuns. That's what makes it happen and makes it work. Now, bunch of baby ducks with the joust advantage. No. What? What? Baby ducks uh, sitting ducks in the tunnel. <laughs> they are very much sitting ducks in the tunnel. Yeah, sometimes you hate to see it, but uh, wow. Okay. So that was odd. Let me know in chat and what are your predictions? What happened there? Is it because uh, they meant to hit pause or poor launch or what's going on? Also, let me know who is going to win. Who do you think is going to take this round? Do you think Retro Rejects are going to continue this momentum and take it in two? Or is it going to be round three? I know for one, I want to see round three. How about you, Bloomy? I would love to see a round three, especially for my first match here. These seem to be like pretty even, the disc moving around the midfield a lot now. For sure. Um, it will be now a countdown. So it looks like we may get ourselves underway once again. Yes, we do. Definitely some weird uh, glitches there, but we have figured it out. I don't know what the glitch was, but anyway, eight and a half minutes, one and a half minutes into the game. Let's get it. Crystal Sun now with the disc. Crystal Sun taking a look, walking it downfield. Going for the pass to H2. Great, beautiful pass from him. H2 up to Tyrant. Tyrant now walking it in, walking in the bubble. Can he go for the cut pass? Is he going to go for the shot? No, he's going to slam it in. Two points on the board for the bunch of baby ducks. Yeah, he just walked that one straight in. It wasn't covered. Perfect. Yeah, man, just taking the time, taking the space. You got to love it. You got to love it. All right. Retro Rejects now with the Joust advantage. Let's see if they can extend their lead further. It's still anyone's game. You hate to oh, see it, but they do it there. right back to them. Hang <laughs> up the game there straight away. There you go. H2 says you got a cheap one on us. We'll get one back on you, except we have to work for it. Oh, man. I love it. You love to see a tie game three, two and a half minutes in. <laughs> Right down the nose of the camera. Not, not sure if you can hear. Beautiful Newton down on cams. Huge shout out to him. This is all possible because of his generosity of his time and all of yours. So thank you. Huge shout out to all of you for taking the time you know, to watch this game today. Um, let me know if you do have a favorite team or if you know anybody on the field or if you're just here for having a good time like us. All right. Tyrant clears it downfield. It's going to be the, it's going to be a dribble, but it doesn't quite work. It is going to be a stack, but no, overshot. And it will be. Retro Rejects picking up the disc. No. H2. Those H2 slams it there. in. They take the lead. 7 to 5. With the 80 meters. Too. Baby Ducks is so like fast to retaliate here. From 5 0 to 7 5. Not they no. really are. They really are. And that's just what I love about this game. So back and forth. That's what I love to see from these matches. New to Dad, so far, he is our camera guy. In case you forgot, huge shout out to Newton Dad. Uh, has the most round three games out of anybody I know um, in this game. So I hope this certainly hope this goes to round three. But Sabish, Sab Sabishi has something to say about it. As she does clear it into the midfield. Flatman now with the disc, walking it up. Taking a look. Over to Tyrant. 
Tyrant up to nobody, unfortunately, for him. And he's going to clean back out of the bubble. He's going to reset that one back to Bowtie. And his teammates set up above backboard. Go for maybe a pass there, bouncing down to the floor. Love and respect picking up the disc and clearing it out. Maybe looking for a stack now. Will be a stack. Crystal picking up. Going for the long shot. Folksy, though, is there to recover. Oh, that uh, shot maybe going in. And the shot. No! <laughs> full court by Folksy there. Just like that, Retro Rejects picking this game back up. Leading by one point. There we go. You hate to see it. You love to see it. You call it lucky, call it skill, call it what you want. I call it three points on the board. Retro Rejects now with the lead. McBain, do you still believe you say Baby Ducks is going to be Diamond next season? I certainly, I expect all, a lot of these gold teams that stick there to be Diamond next season. Honestly, you know, you put in the work, you'll get there. I've seen lots of Diamond players who just joined in December. And, uh, you know, here they are, the, some of the highest echelons of VRML. But it will be in the bubble of Bunch of Baby Ducks. And they're just going to reset the play, trying to get another two on the board. You can see how they're trying to slow down the gameplay here. Since this game's been super fast-paced, they're trying to pass it around their side of the field slowly. They really are. H2 now gets stunned, though. Um, but it will just be slapped up to nobody. Just trying to go for the clear, trying to buy some time. Um, and Tyrant does get it. Great pressure from him. Great stunning here by the tunnel. It's going to get passed up to Love. Love for the shot. And it's not in. It is going to bounce out. But it is going to bounce into the hands of Folksy. But Folksy Respect. gets punched in the face for his effort. Tyrant being an absolute brute. Walking it downfield now. Maybe going for a dribble play. Not sure. Nope. Just going for the pass. Um, or it's clear. It's going to be the stack of nobody there. Love and Respect is going to pick up the disc and walk it back the other way. I'm <gasps> oh. seeing that last long shot. I thought that was going in too. <laughs> Absolutely. It's going to get bounced out now. It will be Lich. Lich, though, gets stunned by H2. H2 going for the reset pass. The pass is good. Crystal Sun upfield to nobody but it isn't gonna be a good clear into the blue half hard to read which is what you like to see gonna get slapped out though into the hands of folksy folksy clearing it back downfield to nobody going for the bounce are they able to read is the stack there no crystal sun is there and clearing it back down into the retro rejects half see if they can pick up the disc here maybe go for a shot a shot going in here easy peasy lemon squeezy Blooming just like, you know what? They're going to pick up the disc and just toss it in. No big deal. H2 certainly feels that way as they have now, to eight, now taken the lead. Very back and forth gameplay, yeah. It really is. It really is. And you love to see it. Sabishi now with the disc going down, going for the bounce pass. Maybe it was intentional, maybe not, but it did go past all of Orange Defenders and finally into the hands of Tyrant. Tyrant now taking a look, just taking his time. You know what? They have the points lead now. It doesn't matter if it's one point. There's only two and a half minutes remaining. But love and respect. I have no respect for Orange Team passing up to uh, Folksy, but doesn't quite connect. No one is there to recover, and it will go back into the hands of Tyrant. But Tyrant gets stunned out. It will be now floating downfield. Lynch now picking it up. Lynch up to love. 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 Going for the pass. Folksy. No. Not quite connecting. Folksy gets Folksy stuffed as this is going to get cleared into the midfield. Going for another clear here. That going to be picking it up and passing it down. Go for another shot here by Love and Respect, but saved by H2. And then clearing it out, going to be bouncing off tunnel. The stack is there. They get stunned out. Let's see if they can go for a shot here. It's going to bounce into the neutral zone once again. And it's going to be clear. That's a good clear. The first good clear we've seen in a while from both these teams. Definitely very uh, uh, stun-heavy game. The stack of Breto Rejects there will get there first. And it will just continually be in this neutral zone. Not quite able to get a good piece of it. Lynch now clearing it midfield. Not getting it. But love and respect getting the stun and trying to pick it up the disc. But no, Crystal. Crystal up to Sabishi though. And Sabishi clears it back into the Baby Ducks half. Maybe go for another shot here. It's folksy. Shot. Just like that, they're up by one point again. Just like that, with a minute 20 remaining. It's still anyone's game. It's a one-goal game. 
dare I say, next goal wins. If not, Berto Rejects will be accepted and accepted into the round one victory. But let's find out. Crystal Sun with the disc. Crystal Sun. Up to H2. H2. Up to Tyrant. Tyrant, no! Gets denied in the midfield. And is getting picked up by Crystal sudden once again went for the long pass but not connecting as lynch is going to clear it back into the midfield this should be a, maybe one of the final plays of this game here so it does matter a lot what they decide to do time with the disc here maybe setting up some potential plays passing it over the pass just missing Just missing now 30 seconds, and they certainly are going to want to have the last play of the game. Going for the cut pass, Flatmaster! Flatmaster for Flatman! I wish he's a master. Maybe he was a master of making flapjacks. I don't know, 20, 20 seconds left. Going downfield, and the stack is there! Three points! No! There are still 14 shot. seconds, though. They can do it, but it's not going to float in. Oh, my God. It's going to go back downfield. Who's there? Who's there? Seven seconds. This might be out of time, as Lynch just is going to waste the time of the orange team. Retro takes the first round. Great right round there, like 10-9, that's a very close match. Let's see what we can get for round two. You Both teams playing really well. They yeah. really are. I mean, Bloomy, what is one thing that, I mean, you've seen from both these teams that really make this such a back and forth game? So, like, a lot of the things that they've been doing is, like, punching out the other team's stacks and then trying to stack down and, like, try and play a bit of clear and boost here. Mm. And then go Turn for the open shot. Yeah, that's definitely the meta. I mean, what what would you what would you want to see from these teams to like really extend that lead? Is it the passing plays, or do you think you know the passing's okay how, compared to you know what you would expect to see from teams of this level? Yeah, I like what Tyron's doing when he holds the disc and tries and draws out the defense of the enemy team, so then he can get an open pass to his teammates. And it seems to be right. working pretty well. Them winning round one. Yeah, I mean, fair enough. They want to buy a squeak, but a squeak is still a W. Um, that's awesome. Huge shout out to all of you guys. All 40 of you in chat. Appreciate you taking the time out of your day to watch and enjoy this game we all know and love, Echo Arena. Also, huge shout out to Bloomy. This is his first cast, so much love to him and much love to Newton Dad on camps and myself, Luke. Here we go, though. Round two. Can Retro Rejects take it in two? Can Bunch of Baby Ducks root it to round three? I certainly hope so, but let's see what's going to happen. Bloomy, take it away. Retro Rejects getting the gist, uh, the joust there, and it's going to be sent into tunnel by Tyrant picking up the disc, but Folksy just getting that, but then getting stunned out. Love and respect putting the disc down towards left back, man. They do have the stack sitting back there, Baby Ducks. Seen a lot with the stack sitting in defense, ready to pick up the disc every time. H2 with the disc, maybe looking for some dribbling here. Tyrant with the disc again, passing it up to shoulder, just missing. Let's see if we can go for a shot. Tyrant with the shot, maybe, and hitting the shot. Up by two points. What? This yeah, what a play, ducks. man. What a play. Great passing on the side of Bunch of Baby Ducks absolutely connecting and finding the back of the net most importantly and tyrant once again putting two more points on the board for his team retro rejects looking to respond yeah i'm not seeing a lot of like people looking for passes here it seems that baby ducks communication is like really well because they just know where their teammates are when they need a pass every time <laughs> crazy passing play there just duking out the one defender that was on shield there a hundred percent exactly as you said it they just are there they're on point these teams are just connecting and blue recto Drejax puts it in for two so zero zero game eight and a half minutes to go tyrant now with the disc clears it down to crystal sun crystal sun over to flatman flatman looking to get shots on the board the tyrant now with it is going for the backboard and h2 slams it in for two Four to two for the side of bunch of baby ducks. Last goal was like 11 seconds. This goes 13 seconds. It's crazy. They just come out of the two two passes and just go for the goal. Very Certainly fast. is. 
Yeah, great job from both these teams. Definitely back and forth game. We love to see it here at home. Wherever you are joining us in the world, we appreciate you. Uh, Lynch and Lynch though, going for the pass. Going to Folksy, Folksy, back to Lynch, doesn't quite connect. As this is gonna go into the hands of H2. H2 looking to put more points on the board, but going for the reset pass. <gasps> Not gonna bounce in, no, but so close. Alex Flatman clears it back into the midfield just for the panic clear into the hand of love. Folks here picking up the disc here, trying to pass it to shoulder and off shield. He goes for the shot, is Sabish. Not sure if I pronounced that right, but Retro Rejux just scored and now they're tied up the game. They certainly did. Um, great anchor shot from Sabishi, as it is gonna be. A seven minute game. I always look at tie games like 0 0, but it just shows the back and forthness of this game. However, if you do look at the back and forth, it is going to be a bunch of baby ducks scoring next, and certainly Retro Rejects doesn't want any of that now on the defense. Flatman walking it in. Flatman going up, going for that bounce pass to Tyron. Tyron gets stunned in the bubble. Love and respect, clearing it downfield, only having respect for his teammates, but not finding the pass as Crystal Sun is gonna clear it up to Flap. Flap goes for the shot, hits off the post. He was there for the recovery, only love and respect. What a great name. And uh, gonna go back into the midfield. We're getting stunned out there. And then Retro Rejects picking up the disc here. H2 getting stunned out. Folksy maybe with the shot here. There is a goalie. Gonna look for the reset to love and respect and the pass back to Folksy. The shot just missing, and then the dunk by Love and Respect here. Really and is a great what? name. It really is. It really is. Huge shout out to Love and Respect, and huge shout out to Love and Respect. If you know what I mean. But <laughs> um, it's going to be some great team play there. While it certainly was very clumped, you know, everyone kind of took the role. The goalie was stunned. Someone went to the backboard. Someone took care of the people going, going, you know, close to the disc. So huge, huge, huge team play coming from Retro Rejects, putting two more on the board and taking this lead. As I said, wanting to change up that pressure. But Flatman looking at Joey right back. Goes for the shot though. Isn't there to recover though on the side of Baby Ducks? But Crystal Sun is on the back line. Crystal Sun now going for the pass. Doesn't quite connect to his teammates, but it will connect into the hands of nobody still. It's still getting slapped around. Now Crystal Sun with the disc. Crystal Sun walking up. Takes a look over to center to Tyrant. Tyrant gets stunned. And it's going to get picked up by Love and Respect, clearing it back down into the midfield. All right, folks, he picks up the disc, takes a look now, just trying to control the tempo. They know that they are up two points, and that means time is on their side. The clock is on their side, going around one, going around two. Love and Respect putting it in, slamming the door, taking the lead to four. As Empty said in chat, the teamwork on these teams are very great. They like, like I said before, the communication is just crazy. Like their passes are just hitting every time, and they're going for crazy shots, as we saw before with the bubble play. Very nice. See, it is super nice, and you expect to see it, especially, or rather, you don't necessarily always expect to see it from uh, these gold teams, as there such is a wide range. Um, they are on the higher side of it, as uh, play 72 and 74, I believe, respectively. However, Crystal Sun looking to change that. Put more points on the board for his team. Sabishi, though, picks up the disc. Too folksy. Going for the long shot. Doesn't quite connect, but it will be Love and Respect there to pick it up. Love and Respect going for the dunk. Going for the shot. And it's good. Six-point lead to Retro Rejects. Retro Rejects says, I want to take this in two. Let's see how Baby Duck will respond. Hopefully we can see a round three here. Maybe if Baby Ducks can set up some potential plays in the last three minutes. They certainly hope so now. Crystal Sun clearing it downfield. Gonna go into the hands of H2. Also huge shout out to Awesome Ninja Boy. Love and respect is his sister or her sister. I don't know that your gender, but definitely huge shout out to all these players. Definitely very good at this game, Echo Arena. Also huge shout out to oh. our Twitter, but that's gonna go in! <laughs> the Folksy, by Folksy getting in the long 55 meter shot. Dare I say intentional, probably luck, but man, what a game. Crazies. I think Folksy was the person who hit the shot last time too. Then hey, you Crazy know what? Lightning shot. doesn't strike twice. It could have been a lined up shot. But Crystal Sun looking to put his team on the board. Pass it up to H2, H2. Up to Tyrant, Tyrant. One on one, two on one. Cut pass, cut shot. Sun's walking it in. 
It's a seven point game. Iron is really like has a disc a lot here. His possession is great so far. Maybe so yeah, Tyrant strong. is great. Great team play coming from the side of Bunch of Baby Ducks and Retro Rejects. The score definitely not reflecting that, but there was only two and a half minutes remaining. There is time, but Bunch of Baby Ducks needs to get on this board more, and Tyrant's going to pick up the disc to look and do exactly that. Some dribbling here. Or his stack getting stunned out there. Crystal going to uh, be going down alone. This getting cleared out kind of by Shabeshi. Flatman with the disc here, passing it up to Tyrant. Tyrant maybe passing it to H2. H2 just missing the cup pass there. They are going to be catching this disc again. Passing it up, the disc bouncing around. It has been cleared out by Blue Team. Yeah, great yeah. stuns coming from the side of Retro Rejects. Absolutely denying it. Retro oh, Rejects have a drop out. Oh my god, Retro Rejects has a drop out! Can they score? They have a minute and 45! They're still not on the board! We got your baby ducks, come on, come on. I believe, do you believe? Let me know if you believe in chat! It's gonna go bounce into the midfield though with 140 though. This time is ticking, time is not on their side. They definitely need to get a goal soon. Going for the long clear, but it's not gonna go into the hands of anybody as it bounces, stack race. And it will be Lynch picking up the disc, looking to clear it back. But no, into the hands of Tyrant. Tyrant, let's see if he can put more points on the board. Tyrant, duking around the Geo. Up! Oh, no, the pass doesn't quite connect as Crystal Sun now walks it in. Oh, so close here. Baby Ducks is in the bubble of blue team just before. And, like, the disc is getting bounced around everywhere. They have got their fourth back here. Tyrant maybe looking to pick up this disc and clear it out to score some final points. But he does get stunned out. Flatman picking up the disc here. He does Passing pick up the, the disc, tire. but he gets... Sorry, you got... All good. H2 picking it up. Going downfield with 40 seconds left. This game is over. Retro Rejects taking it in two. Well, that doesn't mean there's not more room for scoring. That's a long three. That's a long shot. That's a long bounce. No, it's not. But it is going to get picked up by nobody. But eventually, Tyrant will be there. They're looking to put some more points on the board for his team. Going for the long clear, long pass, long bounce. And that going to bounce in? No! Folksy says no, even if it was. I'm not sure. Back into the midfield, into the hands of the Tyrant. H2 with the disc here. Going for a pass of Flatman. Flatman just missing the disc there. Let's see if they can get some final points in the last six seconds of this match. Dropping the disc. Maybe going for a final shot here. Oh, it's so hey! by Flatman. It's always nice to end it off with one final goal. Even if you lose. It's a great game. Man. It is. It is. And it also helps a little bit, at least for those ELO points. You won't lose as many. But Retro Rejects taking it into two. What an exciting back and forth. Both games, the second game certainly was a lot more dominant score-wise by the Retro Rejects. But what a game it was. Huge shout out once again to Awesome Ninja Boy. Um, and love and respect as they are siblings. You gotta love the, the family support. It's also really cool to see, you know, different families playing this game. Newton Dad, our cameraman, his son plays at a very high level. He's just not 13 yet, but as soon as he is, he will be joining the VRML. So definitely keep an eye out for him. And huge shout out to all the people who are supporting your friends, family, and community. Just watching the stream and taking the time out of your day. Also, huge shout out to Bloomy. This was his first cast and what a match it was. Bunch of baby ducks against the Retro Rejects representing the OCE region. Uh, only one of our first casters from there in the uh, new production group. So huge shout out to Bloomy. Um, but Bloomy, what are your final thoughts of this first match? That was just a really crazy match. I'm still trying to wrap my head around it. The disc was getting passed around very nicely at the second round there. And Retro Rejects picked up their gameplay and seemed to have a lot more communication with their passes and clears there. And I think that's why they scored the final points there. I certainly agree. But don't go too far away. I think, uh, what do we think, Newton? Are we going to close the stream or are we going to just go to intermission? All right. So we are going to go to intermission. So don't go too far away. Next, we do have... Bangarang against Rush, and that's going to be a banger of a match. Ranked 20 and 21st in Diamond. So certainly a little bit faster, a little bit better, and a lot more fun. Bloomy and I will be there. Newton Dad on the cams. Myself is Luke. Thank you all for taking the time, and we'll see you in 20. Thank you.
city still so far from home I've searched for you on my own Cast out like a shadow Racing towards the light I pray to see you one more time Get this explosive joker offense getting to stop his swag war so he'll deny that opening start and they'll get the boost down court they will be at ceiling they'll find possession and they'll take this shot in the law putting three of nice quick passes here sending it up to the top lovely pass there passing it back uh legit now holding it stuns there lovely stun Oh, love sending that one cross gonna be ahead of its target but pursuing it will be team gravity viatrex now down to the floor does this angle exist and it does that pass to low riders Jones has improved over their current games stacks are out both stacks are getting really close as a blue team flubs their matches average Jones puts it in for two taco wow. not taking any time a lot of stunts coming through now at the floor will be picked up and set back towards that bubble looking above the goal and the slap from acorn will finish that one off and Getting the grab on that will be Ghost Duck. And trying to get that dribble through mid. It will be picked up by Ryruff. Ryruff sending that pass forward. This is a chance. And Ghost Duck, but the save, denying that. It's shut down by this defense. This defense is going to find that clear through. Now they're on offense. Now they're going to take this shot. And Ollie, we talk about Ollie. And Ollie does it right around. Yeah, as you said, Mad was not looking at the cut passes. He was expecting a shot there. As Mad with the long shot off the backboard, not gonna get saved by anyone. <laughs> as that's gonna bounce off the crossbar. Yeah, nice move by Citizen, but not quite able to finish. Elusive uh, picks it up. Zucks hanging out on the shield, but to the backside. Jake Tabaka. But shutting that one down will be Winter on the back line. Yeah, as he clears it down midfield, both the stack from Intoxicated super quick coming in and will be Winter first. Chuck sending it near side, looking to get it to Essen. Essen able to play that one off the wall. S goes back to Sports. Sports back to Link 1. Link 1 setting up. Chuck not North. Nathan, the uh, pass getting stunned out. Spoon with the pickup and the shot. What a shot there from Sir Captain Spoon. Immediately turning over. Caption gets it up to Mamba. Mamba flings it through as he gets stunned out. Steel Skydiver with the tap back in. Saluna with the empty goal. You can't. You can't do that. Here. Here's a Lancashire. Accent and it's one of the my favorite accents British accents. So it sounds so clean. That shot's gonna be good That's the ice on the kick denied by Hiroshi walking it downfield The stack will be there. Hopefully his teammates calling. Is it a good three? It is! Oh, it's a pocket! Hiroshi! Thank you. 
Uh, they'll still be there for the recovery. The stack, though, meeting them along the line. So there is going to be a shot from the Ooh. bottom line and right into the goal. Mail it in. It's Franz. In a row. Shots. Two shots in a row. Fine. Three in a row. That's where snowballs begin. Ooh, it's single shot. They have another opportunity here. Mozzie. That was that was a great read. Next tech, Farsa. Ooh, nice swim move. Next tech down to the floor to the Sosa. Sosa gonna set up Scarborough. Scarborough looking for the cut pass. Hits the next tech and he brings it in for the two. What a play there. I don't want to look him maybe for the dribble with his teammate. That'll just bounce off the wall, but Steph over. Nice recovery. Ooh. Maybe a long shot and it will go wow. in. Wow. For the three from 40 meters. Quickly closing that gap. Very nice. Very much appreciated. Now the pass comes up to Lucy Knight. Lucy Knight going for a 1v1 and he will get it off the back but to put it in for the two. Hernandez is going to get that one cleared out as the chains get together. And uh, chase after that one down into the limited duty bubble. A Ender with a hand on it. Ender up to Andy and a good stop there by Witt. And Witt's going to get the clear out here as this one's through the near side tube all the way down into the four kings bubble here that's four on zero ready uh scoring um nearly as many points in this round as they did uh in round one jim looking for the pass to kaz kaz with the juke and the slam oh a nine point lead and finding the stop there will be clockwork and that's not good in this long shot coming through that's gonna be good for Emil. they're looking to recollect the disc but if Maybe the other team can get it. They might get a scoring opportunity. And John does recollect over to Hyper Infinity and Hyper. In orange, uh, that is Gen Z on the right in blue. I am Monster and we joined by so much to see on the cameras and Sputnik Cobra in the studio with us as Aaron Knight gets the first goal there. Three points on the board for a moon face with the clear. Clear's going in and it looks like Saluna's gonna be right there with an open goal. Has to pass out. Moonface though, finding the low Ooh. side. Oh, they're fighting Victus. Reindeer with the disc, but it gets caught up by Rummy and Rummy. dedicate one person uh, to that disc in the middle and they have three people sending up along the mid side so they have the re-grabs until they reach that bow tie section and until wait a minute okay okay just okay thanks for cutting me off there Kai. Let, let me get back to it no i can't get back to it after that shot what a brilliant shot <laughs> to defend from his attackers getting it back to vanzi project mayhem now going for another approach vanzi going for that ceiling shot to the law the law to palace oh. palace going for the shot but it looks like i believe he got stunned which probably put a shot awry vanzi with a steal and shot but a great save i'm not sure which joker player it was but nonetheless you know cat like reflexes there denying that goal keeping their eight point lead phoenix's defense but uh we'll get the clear up but bouncing on the wrong side of the tunnel now uh -oh. uh, the long shot from sniper wow now that will put them at a 10 point lead Two monos, maybe like three takes. <laughs> what am I hiding? Well, uh, many things. Speedy Felix. Like what they did when they did have the offense, right? They were working up the floor slowly uh, on their roll roll ups and such, but it's just not having any any good look. Put up and off of the head i don't know about that decision andy sending this one up to ender ender not able to get the grab still loose mozzie gonna pick this one up mozzie sending that one up to jiggy jiggy what did you go to see jason under pressure nice movement there mozzie oh the stop cruising what's he got a seven foot wingspan what was that this one down in the bubble this could be the ice it is Dusty there on Baker. Ecstatic going down there to uh, Bally. And uh, Bally is going to get that one in for the two. And that's going to put Anti Matter up by four.
hundred meters a second that trickled in at. Steel Scott Emmer, dear side tip to Caesar. Caesar going back to steel. Caesar up with Saluna. Saluna walking in. Saluna. Oh, going up the moon face. I can tell you right now, if I was that goalie, I would have been sure that was going to be a shot. Ooh, that ceiling shot. Excuse me. Uh, uh, cloud shot there from original. Not expecting that. And paper is going to go up 16 to 10. In possession of it, and Caster's yeah. cursed that one. Uh, but, yeah, quite can say, seem to have a lot more control over this game, nevertheless, as this clear goes straight into the hands of Black. Oh, no way. Tarsis with the 56 meter male slot. This one does turn over once again. Venom picking it up. Venom sending it out. A whole bunch of chains and leeches and players and boost. Seelmo's going to get there first. Takes a shot. Are you kidding me? is what it was. Oh, Waxy with a beautiful tap pass there to Howie Cow, Cow going down to Weepo. Weepo over the pie. And there go the planets. In the front, and as I say that, he does just that. Allows the team to get set up in the front. Gets a nice pass up. Here comes the attack from Rebrand floating into the zone. Coming in here from Blank, and suddenly they're playing quick. The passes come back and forth, and they're setting up inside of the zone of Wackhead. Pass down range to Paddish, and they play patty cake between each other here in the bottom of the zone, trying to avoid the bosses. Done. Oh. There's a good cross, and it's going to be sucked in by Jade for Jack for two. Post right on the bottom. That was so close. Another attempt for Ryruff, Ruff, and a big grab. Chewy stack. That is immensely clutch, and we have seen some clutch plays here tonight. Uh, so now on the recovery, BG over to Chewy, perhaps. No rebounded from Slads, and the game overtime was had. Wow. Hi, my name is Mozzie and I play for Ethereal. Hey, my name is Singshot, I play for Team Ethereal. Hi, my name is C Jason and I play for Ethereal. Hi, my name is Jiggy and I play for Team Ethereal. So my role in the team is, well, technically I'm the goalie, but I also do things like QB and play the back line. So I like to think of it as like, I'm the big brain of the team. You know, sometimes I call the plays and I kind of guide them on offense and, and defense. I like how we can have fun and be serious whenever we want to. Are you saying we're a bunch of trollers, Diggy? Yeah, yep. that's so toxic. <laughs> My name is Andrew. Hi, my name is Andy W, and I play on Four Kings. Hi, my name is Chrome, and I play for Four Kings. 
Yo, my name is Cruiser. We want to grow as a team. We're kind of a new team. And I've never played with Cruising or Ender before, and I know we have like a new chemistry, and I think it's it's gonna be good. But I kind of want to see that grow. I think I honestly think one of the big one of our biggest strengths is that we're all like friends, right? So it's like I feel like we can grow over time and become better because we're homies and friends and lovers. Naturally, we're just better. Hello and welcome back! Boy, do we have a match for you today. I am your host, Luke. This is VRML2. With me is the ever-so-awesome Bloomy from Down Under, representing the OCE region. Matt Miko, it's also his first cast today, so much love to him. Shed the support in chat, representing NA and the ever-so-awesome Newton Dad on cams. Can't be possible without him. We have a match, as you all are aware, Bangarang against Rush, and what a match this will be. Bloomy, are you looking forward? Yeah, I'm looking forward to this diamond match here. They are really close on the ladder here, and it should be a great match. Looks really good. This certainly does. Um, we are going to make sure we split the stats. They're just shouting out for Newton, uh, so we don't mix up the stats. They're on the board during the first play, but uh, already done. Look at him, the, the professional, just saying it out loud because I just thought of it, but of course he has it done. Huge shout out once again to him and huge shout out to all of you for taking the time to watch this hype match, Bangarang against Rush. These teams are one rank apart. Bangarang is ranked 21st and Rush is ranked 20th. And we love to see that, especially coming into this third cycle. Both these teams potentially with enough wins between now and the end of it could be fighting in the Challenger Cup but we will only find out in a few weeks, but I'm definitely rooting for these teams to make it there. Bloomy, what do you expect to see from this game today? I expect to see like a lot of passing, a lot of clearing, a lot of goals. It should be a really good match. And I heard you say about the Challenger Cup, how does that actually work? Yeah, so the top three teams of Diamond, so team 11, 12, and 13, go into the Challenger Cup. Um, I believe maybe there's a fourth team as well. Um, and then and then two of them make it and then two of them get moved into master and the bottom two teams in master get relegated down back to diamond to fight back into get into the top three teams. so everybody except for the master system 
is in the ladder. So, you know, there's no difference between a bronze team and a diamond team besides ELO and skill. But the master tier has a completely different, like, match, not match schedule, but, like, how they how they play together. Like, their bracket gets reset every cycle, uh, while everyone else, it does, doesn't really mean much. It just means the top three teams in diamond move on. So there's a there's a whole system there. Um, but, yeah, it's uh, it's definitely one of, those, one of those fun things that we all wish to be there one day. One day to be in a top diamond team, right? Yeah, I would love to play NA matches. They seem to be like really fun, especially with how many players there are. It should be a lot more scrims and a lot more matches being available to play. They, they're totally true. Kid's saying they're top four, I think. Cool. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not 100% sure. Top three, top four. I'll take your word on it, kid. Let me know, guys, in chat, who's going to win? I want to see three rounds. I think you guys want to see three rounds. I think Bloomy wants to see three rounds. I know Newton Dad wants to see three rounds. So... Who do you want to see win? Do you want to see one of these teams take it in two? Do you want to see these teams go to three? Let me know in chat. I'm curious. While we are here, though, shout out to our Twitter. You can follow us there, Echo Arena underscore VRML. Maybe you joined us here today because of it, because we always post whenever we go live. So you can catch all the Echo VR action you want whenever we post new videos, interviews with players, those teams who do enter the new cycle. We had videos posted today. So if you want to interview Martin the Third on Everest, and uh, somebody on Clockwork, I forget whom, um, their videos were posted today. So make sure to check those out. You can find the link in Twitter or just follow us on YouTube, Echo Arena VRML. Also, huge shout out to our sponsors who make this all possible. It's Pro2 VR, Asterion Products, Fixed Gaming, VR Cover, HyperX, Rebuff Reality, and VRWare.net. Definitely a great match. Should be a good match. I think Bang will take it, says Kid. Okay, okay. Snowburn says Rush. I like the back and forth. Hypothetical says I like the underdogs, but you're going to say Bang rank. So you're saying that one rank makes them the underdog. All right, that's definitely a statement. Um, and Makasimika says, give me four rounds. Being the sideline caster. Shout out to him. This is his first cast. So huge shout out to Matt taking the leap, joining the VRML production team. We'd love to see it. Um, but man, what a match this will be. We do have all four players in on both teams, so we are going to shoot the ready up. Um, they have been pinged. So here we go. Rush is the heavy favorite in Connoisseurs, I am told. And so I am interested to see if you guys agree with that in chat. Do you think Rush is going to take this easy peasy uh, in two? Or is it going to go to three? Um, these guys are 20 and 21. Yeah, Invisible, it's going to be a close game. It's going to be a really close game. I really want to see these three rounds. I really want to see this high-tier gameplay. What I always love seeing is whenever you watch, like, lower-tier gameplay, and it's, like, cool, like, it's nice, it's chill. You know, there's some stack and there's some grabs, and then all of a sudden you watch this high-level stuff, and it's just, like, zooming, right? What do you think about that, Bloomy? Do you agree, or, or what's your opinion there? Just looking at the stats here, both teams seem very even. Even in... They are 20 and 21 here, so it should be really, really close. So we can see some type of round three or overtime here. And yeah, in chat, it looks like everyone seems to be pretty split down the middle here with both teams. Some people are saying Rush and some people are saying Bangarang here. So I'm not sure who's going to win, but I'm happy to see. You certainly love to see it. Um, huge shout out to um, Bushibo. Not for any reason in particular relating to this match, but when I first joined VRML, Bushibo answered all my dumb questions. So I didn't know he was a player. I didn't know he was a high rank, low rank, whatever. But I was just in one of those in those group chats on Discord, um, you know, just being like, uh, ask here or whatever. And he asked me answer all my questions about like franking quest, like all these different settings and all that sort of fun stuff. So huge shout out to you guys, the community, who really makes this all possible. You know, Matt Miko's hype that it's his first cast. Bloomy's hype that it's his second cast. Danuta Dead and I are hype just because we're always hype. But this all is possible because of you guys so thank you for spending the time to take it but we're going into round one bloomy take it away oh we're gonna have bang around taking it the disc straight away titan setting up on bow tie and maybe see some potential passes rush is covering man to man defense here they are trying to stay on their players bow tie is open for reset and yeah they do have one player open because they are playing man on man defense so we they really do. Bushibo now with the disc. Bushibo passing to Titan. Titan for the shot. Down to Sam. Sam slamming it in. 4-2. 30 seconds in. Bangarang puts two on the board. They are playing very nicely with the tempo and just playing it slower and playing it faster when they need to. 
and it looks really nice and it seems to be working so far. So we are aware. Yeah, definitely. We are aware that the uh, overlay was Swid, but what? Sam thinking another three points. Five points now on the side of Bangarang, dare I say. Now taking the advantage, definitely putting shame to all the people who think they are the underdog. But I want to see Def Rush come back from this as there still is lots of time remaining. I really hope no one blinked when that shot happened because you must have missed it. They are playing really fast place now, I can see. Going for some panic clears here. So you can pick up the deers, his bar star. Passing it to Tantrum, Tantrum passing it down. See some plays here from Rush. Resetting, but the reset is getting stunned out. Light has come, bringing it down the field. The stacks are coming through. Ooh, the disc getting picked up and then cleared down. Salty Vacuum picking up the disc. Maybe going for a long shot here, hitting the long shot. Crazy game here. Everyone being really on point. I haven't seen many misses yet. Crazy game so far. Definitely expect people to hit those long threes, and they do on the side of Rush, so it's only a two-point game. Um, hey to everyone in the chat. Hello. Um, we can't see. Yeah, we uh, just switched it early on, so sorry about that. But uh, we should be full screen now. I see it full screen on my side, so it should be on yours as well. Hey, how's it going, Tejada? I can say your name right now. Great pubbing with you earlier. Um, it is the Tejada of Tambourine. I agree. And a huge shout out to all of you once again, the community, for making it all possible. However, Bangarang is going to have a person disconnect. So we are going to have a moment here. Um, Matt, if you are a here, what do you think so far? One or two minutes in, you know, what have you seen? And you are muted. This is a crazy game so far, Luke. Uh, back and forth, we've seen a lot of quick goals here in less than two minutes. We already have eight total points. I have to say though, listening to these teams, each of these goals, they're very hyped. There's a lot of energy in this field right now. Energy is the name of the game. And you certainly expect to do so in such a close, even match. I mean, what can these teams really do to, to kind of get that advantage in your opinion, Matt? I think right now with how many points scored so quickly, the teams are just gonna have to calm down and play their game. Uh, things have gotten a little bit crazy, especially <laughs> in the last, uh, you know, two goals that happened for both teams. Things are just going back and forth. Teams just have to take a second here, take a breath and uh, regroup, come back out and just start making some, some of their plays and the game will calm down a little bit, I think. I think so too. And I certainly think it all starts with praising the disc as we are on stream. So huge shout out to them, just showing the community and showing uh, the, you know, the fun that everyone has at the end of the day. Thanks for that, Matt. All right, Bloomy, we're going back into the game. Two-point deficit for the side of Rush. Rush looking to take round one. Bangarang saying no. Let's find out what's going to happen. Take it away. Really intense match here. We're going to have Bangarang with disc advantage here. Maybe looking to set up some points to widen the gap here. See what they can do. They get to this, passing it down to left tunnel. Setting up at Pac-Man. Pac-Man is going to go pass it down to Trench. Trench is then going to pass it back to Diamonds. Nice reset there. He is set up on Roof. Roof going in for a, another pass to Titan. Titan just missing the disc there. He is going to get stunned out. Gunsaw picking up the disc there. Clearing it down the field. If we can see some shots here. Maybe it is the open goal. And the shot by Tantrum there. That's Putting what you want to see if you are a Rush fan. Putting in the two points. Tying up the game. They want to take this round. They're saying five points. Ah, no big deal. And they're certainly showing it as well. Let me know what you guys think in chat. Is Rush going to still take this game? Is Bangarang going to come back? Let's find out as Bangarang has the disc now. Bushibo up to Titan. Titan clearing it downfield, getting stunned for his efforts, but the pass is good to Light. Light looking to find the pass, but no. Bartstar picks it up and clears it back down into the midfield. It is going to be Gunny Saw picking it up. Gunny clearing it downfield. Who's going to get there? Who's going to get there? Bushibo. Bushibo looking for the pass. It's good. Titan. Titan walking up. Titan slowing down the play. They do have the advantage uh, of having control, but no. Not going to connect with a teammate as Tantrum's going to pick it up and clear it back down all the way. The stacks coming in here from Bangarang are looking really good. Rush seemed to be a bit jumbled there. Is he they seem to be picking up the stacks now, maybe getting down the field. He's losing his partner there, Titan maybe getting to the disc first. They are set up in bubble for their defense. 
and see what they can do. Titan going for the reset back to Bowtie. He does have a teammate ready up on top of shield. Uh, going for a clear there, maybe bouncing through the mid. Get these stacks back. Rush with the stack there. Gunny saw getting the deer. There are two people on his back here. They are going to go for the panic clear, bouncing around the tunnel and tantrum with the disc. Maybe looking for a play here. They are going to split the stack to go for the pass. Just missing it. Basta with the disc, maybe. No, getting slapped out. Down the field. And now we need to see these stacks again. Both teams Huge. playing really well. For sure. Huge stack races from both these teams. Definitely keeping up the speed. But Gunny saw with the disc now. Gunny saw just passing it upfield to Bartstar for the exit pass. It's good. It's going to be a stack. Are they going to get their first? No. Unfortunate bounce on the Geo there. Um, definitely not what you want to see if you are a Rush fan. But Rush still has disc control. Going to be stunned back and forth though. Salty Raccoon picking up. No. Salting Raccoon going to Tantrum. Tantrum taking a look. Slowing down the play. Going for the reset. Smart. It's getting lots of space. Getting lots of time. What are they going to do? They're staying stacked. They're going to go train. for the Joker train, but it's going to get denied. <laughs> Titan picking it up, going back into the midfield. Yeah, Mr. Tata giving us some insight here. Titan is 4-11 and still stealing the disc off the Joker train, killing the game right now. Both teams are tied up with five minutes has already passed. See some passing plays here. The disc getting stunned out. And then Basta with the disc looking for maybe a shot here. It does have an unfortunate bounce, but he does pick the disc back up. The headbutt coming from. And Salty picking up the disc, passing it back to Tantrum. A nice reset there. The pass down to Trench. He is open on Pac Man, so maybe see a nice cut pass or something here. It is going There's for the, the disc. Sorry. No, all good. There is the pass. Salty picking up the disc now. Salty Gunny. Gunny back to Tantrum. Tantrum stucking it in for two. Taking the lead for the first time this game. Rush. 7-5. Very Jerksy, intense Retro match. Rejects took it in two, by the way. But yes, very nice match. Bangran looking to respond. Boomy, what do you think so far? What is, is Rush looking dominant or is it really just a back and forth game? Honestly, I couldn't tell you. Both teams look really even here. And, but what I'm seeing a lot is the stacks are crazy on both these teams. There's a lot of races here. And they seem to be stunning out the stacks very nicely and then boosting down together and seeing to get the disc. But they seem to be pretty even when they get to the disc. Like, they both go for the slap gears and then get the stacks going over and over. And But both teams seem to be really nice with their resets and their passes. Going for a shot here, but he does save the disc. Tantrum saving the two, and it will be light as come, picking up once again, going for the cut pass, cut pass to Sam, Sam, oh, hits the post, you hate to see it, Titan now walking it upfield, the pressure's still on, going for another cut pass, but not quite hitting, as gonna bounce out into the neutral zone, and Bardstar's gonna clear that, no, it's not gonna bounce, it is gonna be light has come, picking up the disc now, looking to put it back in the offensive zone, also, these every all for all the players out there, all, all the Geo does have names. So if we do say something like Diamond or Double Stack or you know Ness, that's just referring to a specific Geo, probably where the disc was. But it will be the stack, but Bushibo back in net, denying the two from the side of Rush. It's gonna go right back into the hands of Gunny though. Gunny walking it up Tantrum, Tantrum up to Bartstar, Bartstar just bouncing around and just taking a look, chilling in the neutral zone. Crazy save that we just saw. Gunny saw with the disc, passing it up to Basta. Basta maybe looking for some passes. Playing it really slow here. Trying to draw out the defense here. And see, Titan is coming up the field. Maybe trying to stop him. And then, as you can see, the pass. Because the man-on-man -man defense has stopped since he drew the player out. The pass up to Ness. And looking for another reset. That Rush is playing it really slow here. They are up by two, so they can take their time. See what they do here sure. for a pass. And a shot by Gunny saw. Crazy shot there. And the nice guy. That's just what you want to see. That's just what you want to see. Great team play. Great taking their time. Baiting out the defender once he's drawn out all the way back to the midfield. Going for those quick passes and slamming it in for two. Now it's a four-point lead. It's still lots of time left. Minute and a half. Bang rain. Let's see if they can get a three. And I'm picking up the disc here off Pancake and passing it up to Boshibo. See, Lai has come is open right now. Let's see. 
but he is going to be passing it off to the right side. Titan passing the disc to Bishibo. Bishibo playing around on Diamond a bit. The pass does get stunned out. Titan maybe looking to pick this disc up. Ooh, crazy play there. A bit of dukes and a pass back to Sam Randy. And the disc getting cleared out. Maybe see these crazy stacks again. See what happens. Who's going to get there first? It does look like Soti Raccoon might get there first. I mean, Basta, sorry. Boltster picking it up, and it will be just bouncing around net, wasting time, and slamming it in 4-2, as they're going to take a six-point lead. Certainly not one you want to see if you are a Bangarang fan. Um, with only 50 seconds remaining, though, this is a two-goal game, so it's potentially possible, but it's certainly a tough ask and pretty much out of mathematical time. But never say never. If they can score a really early goal, Bangarang can win this, and Bushibo's looking to do that. Banger, uh, Bushibo, Sam, Sam, light has come. Light has come. Going counter to cut pass. Titan is there. Titan walking in and in. Going for the anchor shot. Is it good? Is it good? No, it's not. And that is going to be round one. Rush taking it. But what a game so far. Wow. Crazy. Crazy game. Rush playing really well with their teamwork and their plans. And like, what we saw a lot is the resets were crazy. The resets were crazy. And certainly putting the extra two in, making it 13 to 5. No one's going to complain about if you are a Rush fan. Matt, what have you seen after that round one? What can Bangarang do? So the biggest thing right now that Bangarang needs to make sure they do is working on their passes in the offensive zone. I noticed multiple times that Bangarang had the pressure. And honestly, at one point in this game, Bangarang was putting on more pressure than Rush was. They were just missing those final passes or even the, just the passes in the bubble. They were just off target. Um, I saw a couple misses from Lightest come. And actually, one note, too, uh, there was a shot that was from outside the bubble, and the goalie was stunned. Light went to grab the disc, and he actually went back up top uh, towards uh, top clock. If he let that go in, it would have been a three-pointer. It was going in. Even the uh, goalie from the other team, from Rush, said it himself. So that was only, it was a two-point game at that point. That would have given the lead to Bangarang. So just a couple of things here uh, as well. Um, like I said... Bangarang had a lot more opportunities. They just need to make sure that they are crisp on their passes, especially getting it to the bubble or inside the bubble. Wow, what great. That's that's certainly something I want to see. Getting that finishing pass, getting the high percentage pass is really what you need to do to get points on net. Right before we go into it, Rush does have a little bit more shot attempts than Bangarang and definitely taking a higher percentage scoring opportunity, as Matt said. But here we go, round two. Bangarang looking to get into round three. Let's find out now. Sam, walking up the disc. Sam, going for the quick cut pass to Shield. Uh, and going to slam it in is Bushibo taking the early lead. Bangarang with two on the board. Really nice underarm 18 meters per second shot there by Bushibo. Picking up the first points of round two. This game is very, very fast paced. Let's see some plays. Very, very fast paced. Here we go. Tantrum. Tantrum. Up to Gunny Saw. Gets stopped in the face, Sam. Long three. No. Hits off the post. Feeling the pressure. But they will be there to recover. Light has come. Taking a look now. Taking the time. They do have the points advantage. Two points, one point. That's still time on your side. As Titan's going to walk it in. Going for the pass. Going for the shot. Maybe doesn't quite connect, though. Barstar picking it up and clearing it back down into the neutral zone. Sam Randy is going to be picking up the disc here. Passing it down. Just some missed pass there. Maybe Titan looking to pick this up. It is bouncing off poop there. Let's see if Bashibo can get this disc. Barstar is rushing him. And the pass. Sam Randy pass. Punching out Gunny Saw and see what we can do here. Titan going for a shot, just missing. Sam Randy is going to pick up that disc, passing into Light has come. And the disc getting saved there by Tantrum. Really nice save. Let's see the stacks coming from both teams coming down. Tantrum is going to be picking up the disc and going for another dunk here. A very nice shot. Just placing very one. Very nice shot from Tantrum. Getting two on the board. Definitely what Rush needs to do to reply. Nevertheless, there still is eight minutes remaining. So lots of time for either of these teams. I want to see round three. I know you want to see round three. And Bangarang certainly wants to see a round three now. Bushibo picking up the disc. Bushibo clearing it downfield to Titan. Titan going for the long pass to Light. Light going low to Sam. Sam back to Light. No! Bartstar denying it. As it is going to bounce into the midfield. 
Bushibo that with the disc. Bushibo. Over. What? Oh. What? What? What just what happened? What a shot! With the goalie in the goals too. The pocket from 33 meters away, all the way. He hits that crazy shot on the goalie. The goalie wasn't expecting it there. Because the teammate on shield just missed it. And the goalie was staring at the person on shield, I'm guessing. But that guy was a crazy shot there. Rush with the disc here. And Basta picking it up. Well, I can't get over that shot. That was crazy. And then he's going to be clearing it down. Let's see. Bushiba with the disc. Maybe clearing it down through tunnel. Bit of awkward bounces there. Elias come with the disc now. See if he can pass it down to Titan. Titan getting the disc there. Maybe passing it up to Bushibo. Going for a nice reset there. What I can see from both teams is the crazy resets, as I said before. Let's see. Titan with the setup, maybe, for a pass. Getting stunned out. Light has come with the disc. Going for a shot. And the oh. cut pass to Sam. It's Randy. Just missing there. That was unfortunate. The shot there. Another one. Light has come with the disc to pass. Randy. Randy with the disc. And the shot by Randy. Third time's the charm. Hitting the post once, hitting the post twice, and slamming it in for the third time. Sam getting seven points on the board for Bangarang. The pause is going to come out. Not true, pause. Not sure why. I don't really care. What an exciting game so far. Matt, what do you have to say? Well, Bangarang has really turned it around this round. I was going to uh, talk about it at one point. Tantrum has nine saves and then let that one through. He's playing such a great game. Uh, as a goalie, you just got to remind yourself, you know, sometimes they're going to slip through. He's going to take a breath and make sure he recovers after that one. But man, that 33 meter goal. Uh, one thing I did notice, though, that, that the Bang Rang is going to have to make sure that they are fixing if they want to win the next two rounds. They are very slow at getting back on clears from, from uh, Rush. So they want to make sure that they're getting back down easily because that's at least the third time this game that there was no one in the bubble and Rush got there first for an easy two pointer. Absolutely, those rotations, especially defensive ones, are extremely critical. However, with five points and seven, basically seven minutes remaining, there's still lots of time for either of these teams, especially at this level. But man, what a game. What a game. Let me know in chat what you guys think. Is Bangarang going to lose in two? Is Rush going to take it in two? Is Bangarang going to take it to a round three? I certainly hope so. The unpause is going to come out, though. And we are going to have Rush, with the Joust advantage, looking to respond. See what Rush can do here, maybe pick up the game with six minutes left. Honestly, I am going for Bangarang. I do want to see this round two. Round three. <laughs> it should be great. Going for another Joker train here. And there is no Titan to pick it up. Basta going for the shot there. Nice shot. We're seeing a lot of dunks from Basta here. Lots of dunks, lots of high percentage plays. And that's what we expect to see from teams at this level. Um, certainly rough to see the Joker train, but if it works, it works. Um, just advantage now, back to the side of Bangarang, still within three points. So Bushiba looking to extend that lead down to Sam. Sam, all the way down to Light has come, Light has come. Goes for the cut pass to Titan, it connects. Titan, walking it in, no. Going for the pass back to Light has come, maybe miscommunication, no. Going to the hands of Sam. Sam going for the reset to Bushibo. Bushibo. Takes a look. Up to Titan. Titan cutting in. Titan late. And it's two more points on the board. Five point lead to the side of Bangarang. 19 MS shot there from one meter away. Insane shot to save there. Great cut pass. Like the distance between the goal and the cut pass was like perfect when they passed it. It was great. Got the, like, it's almost impossible for the goalie to save a shot like that. It certainly is. Teamwork makes the dream work, as I like to say. Um, and both these teams currently definitely have the teamwork. It's going to clear into the midfield, though. Sam Randy clearing it down into the hands of Tantrum, though, who is there with Gunny on the stack. Maybe looking for the dribble. Yes, they are. Just finding each other. They're going for the dribble play. Can they kick it all the way in? No! Stunned out by the Joker train. No! Great job. Great job on the defense there. Uh, the team was back on the side of Bangarang, but it's going to go into the hands of Salty. Salty, down to Gunny. Gunny taking a look, taking his time. Trying to bait out a defender, but no defender needs to come as they do have a five-point lead on the side of Bangarang. But Titan still watching the passing lane, pressing the, the disc a bit, going for the pass now. Gunny has it. Gunny walking in. Going, looking for the stun, maybe. No, no. Salty slamming it in. It's a three-point game. Rush now with six. 
Yeah, Rush, when they take the game slow and change the tempo of the match, it seems to be working out really well for them. They seem to be scoring very nicely when they take it slow. And yeah, they are, there's a three point gap with four minutes left. You see some potential plays by Rush. Oh, oh, the shot just dinging off there by Gunny Saw. Uh, these shots this game has just been crazy. So t Racking with the Deers. Ooh, another shot. Uh, the goalie may have been stunned out there, I'm not sure. But crazy shot there. Just like that, it's a one point game. Rush saying no, Bangarang. No, we're going to take this game in two. Man, what do you guys think in chat? Do you think Rush is going to take it in two? They certainly look like they have the momentum to. But Bangarang now with the disc. Bushibo taking it upfield, going for the pass. Up to Sam, but he gets stunned for his efforts. That is going to get picked up by Salty. Salty taking a look downfield now. Salty going once again for the one going to, once again going for the dribble play. He's gonna bounce it. And it is gonna bounce into the hands of nobody as they are just bruising each other, which he loved to see. Now it will be light has come with the dislike getting stunned. Who's there first? It might be Titan. Titan, yes! Titan clearing! Good! No! The stack is there on the side of Bart Star. They're gonna go for the Joker, Joker train, train once again. Oh, the duh, the dip. Can he dip two? Dips two, Jump. but the disc oh. is free. I love to see it. Tantrum with the disc here, passing down to Gunny Saw. Gunny Saw just missing the disc, Bushiba picking it up and clearing it. Very nice clear there by Bushiba. See what we can happen. Bushiba with the shot, maybe the three pointer. Just like that, Bangarang is up by four points now. Intense game. You love to see it. I want to see it. I know you want to see it. And I definitely know Bangarang wants to see it. They want to see around three. Now with a five point lead, two and a half minutes remaining though. Still lots of time for either of these teams. As we saw the quick four points coming up from Rush not too long ago. And they're probably looking to do the same thing now. Tantrum with the disc. Cantering and clearing it out. Though as he does get stunned, Light has come picking up. No, Titan. Titan taking a shot over pass. Pass to Sam. Sam walking in and getting pressured. Light has come. Slams it in for two. As it is now only a six point game. Two minutes remaining. I don't want to say it, but maybe you see a round three here. Should be great. Caster curse, maybe? We'll find out. Rush, there is no such thing, says Newton Dad, and I concur. But definitely great team play here from Bartstar on the side of Rush. Bartstar walking in a field now. Going low. Oh, almost the interception there from Titan. Not quite there, though. The rotations are kind of back. Now they are. Titan going for the pass. It's free. It's loose. Who's there? It is light has come, and it's going to clear it back down the entire Ooh. field. It's a stack race. Possession moves to the blue. Yeah, Rush seems to be very on point with the stacks compared to Bangarang. They just seem to be always there at the start. Shiba with the disc, passing it down. Maybe for a shot there. Ooh, Tantrum picking up the disc, passing it down to Barstar. They might be playing it slow again here. So, but they don't have that much time. One minute to score. Six points. Let's see what they can do. Barstar picking up the disc here. The defenders seem to be caught around mid. If we can get a stack down there. Tantrum picking up the disc. Passing it down to Barstar. Barstar with the shot. Nice shot there by Barstar. We have 40 seconds left. They only need four points. 40 seconds. 40 seconds by the time the Tim tricks down. This might go to a round three, but there's also just enough time to score four points. Maybe, even, well, five points really. Getting a three and getting a two. Maybe. Actually, now that I look at the clock, maybe not. But never say never. Sam looking to put more points on the board. Down to his teammate, but not quite connecting. Salty Raccoon now with the disc. And now with this timer ticking down, there is a mathematical time. We are going to a round three. I'm hype. Maybe Tahara in chat, John, huge shout out. I am happy because I am happy being here. And thank you for supporting the stream. And thank you all of you for taking the time as this is going to go to a round three. Bangarang, rush. Let's see what happens. Matt, 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 Matt. <laughs> What's going on, man? What's going on? That was quite a response from Bangarang. I have to say, it seemed like, especially from that, they got a lot of momentum bangarang from that 33 meter goal from, from Bushibo. But I would say the turning point of this match is this was a one point game, if I'm not mistaken. A huge save from Bushibo to keep bangarang in the lead. It was a quick uh, re grab back. He just got in the net and just robbed Rush, and that kept them in the lead. And then after that, 
Bangarang really played well defensively. They were very patient. They were they didn't overextend. They let Rush come to them. And even though Rush really had the disc a lot that round, at least in their zone, in the Bangarang zone, they didn't really give them any opportunities. And then once they made Rush made a mistake and turned the disc over, Bangarang was great at going right back down the field and making sure they put that disc in the goal. They certainly did. Those conversions were definitely working out for them. What do both these teams really need to do, Matt, in your opinion, to ensure that they win the round three? So one thing I'm noticing here for Rush, they just need to simplify their game. If you're having a Joker train counter, there's four. One has only been successful, and that was on a two-on-one. So they need to just simplify their game and make the passes that they did in the first round. Certainly, we love to see it. Thanks for that, Matt. Here we go, round three hype. Maybe round three OT? Maybe that's asking too much. Let's find out. Tantrum now with the disc. It's gonna go into the rush half. Bushiba looking to put more points on the board. Titan, Titan oh, slamming it in for two. 15, uh, 11 seconds into this third round. Communication on that would have been crazy. The fast pace of that pass was just very nice. And Titan hitting the crazy shot there on the goalie too. Tiny hitting it into the goalie too, for sure. Titan, not quite getting, or sorry, not quite getting the pass to Tantrum. It's gonna be Salty picking up the disc now. Clearing it right into the hands of Titan though. Titan shooting it right back the other way. Boosh, uh, um, Bangarang certainly feeling the momentum. Bounce oh. shot and it's good! Sam extending the lead to four. Bangarang really wanting this win here, going in for crazy shots here. The stacks are just so much faster than the other round. It's just very nice to see. It is but really nice to see. From what I've seen though, Rush does seem to take it, the gameplay back with the slow play. And it seems to be working for them. Let's see what they can do here. Gunny saw with the disc, passing it up to Salty Raccoon. Salty Raccoon getting the disc there, maybe passing it around more, just holding the disc. That's what I mean by the slow play. Resetting it to Basta, drawing one player out, leaving one open. Works really well. And then he's going to be playing the disc up, passing it to Pac-Man. They do have an open player. See the shot maybe here. Just the cut pass and the disc getting saved there. Crazy save. See what we can do here. The disc getting cleared out, moving down to blue side. The stack's coming through. Who's going to pick up the disc? Sam Randy picking up the disc, holding it. Maybe going for a shot. Lighters come with the shot there. Nice shot by Lighters come. 17 meters per second off the backboard. Very nice. What a game. Sam having the beautiful save. And Sam going for the great pass to Light to slam it in for a six-point lead. Bangaran looking good a couple minutes into this game. See what they can do here. Tantrum passing it to Gunny Saw. Titan picking up the disc, going for a shot here. And the shot by Titan. Crazy shot there. Titan really picking up the game on this round three. Hitting insane shots. Very fast-paced. I'm not sure where he came from, but... He was there. Very nice by Titan. He was there securing the three. Two and a half minutes in. It's looking dominant by Bangarang, but there's lots of time left for Rush to respond. Maybe they're going to pick up the pace. Maybe they're going to play their game. We're going to find out right now. The pass doesn't quite connect, though. He's going to go down into the field. Light has come with the desk. Light going for the reset pass. Unfortunately, doesn't bounce, but he is there to pick up and get the pass off to Bushibo. Bushibo gets stuffed, though, in the bubble. It's going to get picked up by uh, the side of Bartstar. Bartstar and Rush going for the pass. Gunny saw, Gunny saw. It's a long shot. Three points on the oh board God. on the side what of a, Rush. What a shot. Three pointer pocket 19. My God. That was crazy shot by Gunny saw there. I was not expecting that. That was very nice. We do Insertion. have Bangarang with disc advantage here. They are coming through. Let's see what they can do. The fast pass down to Gunny saw. Passing it up to Light has come. And another pass to Titan. Titan resetting it down. The, let's see what they can do here. Light has come is set up on roof, but he is covered by the shoulder. The salty Raccoon. They are trying to play it slow, bringing it back a few steps. Trying to draw out more players that pass down the field. Salty Raccoon with the disc here, maybe looking for a clear. Shibo <gasps> picking up the clear there. <laughs> Passing it down to Titan. Titan maybe passing it to... Let's see what he does. To Lightest Come. Maybe for a cut pass the shot there by Lightest Come. Crazy shots here by Bangarang. They seem to be really on point with their bubble play. 
It's just they getting really... into the bubble. Yeah, right. there's absolutely having great control now. Slowing down the play, taking a page out of Rush's manual, as they were known for the slow play in the first two rounds. But Bangarang just slowing down the play. Going for the interception, long three! Oh, and the good. shot is good. Sam extends the lead to 11. Very crazy wow. match here. Big turn of events from round one and two. Just Bangarang picking up the shots very nicely. In chat, we can see original VR saying 45% uh, equals easy 19s. And that is true. It does help a lot with the shots here. Salty Raccoon clearing the disc through tunnel. See what they can do here. The stack of Rush is going to get their first and second. Tantra picking up, going for the long pass to Bartstar. Bartstar to Salty. It's Salty slamming it in for two. Wow, what great team play coming from the side of Rush. They're still nine points behind, but with just under half the game remaining. Certainly within anyone's reach. The passes in that bubble were very nice. Like everyone was responding very nicely with those cut passes. See what they can do here. Bangarang with disc advantage. Bashibo picking up the disc. Who is he going to pass to? Let's see, holding the disc a bit. They do have a big advantage in this game. 14 to 5 right now. So they're passing up to Lightus come sitting on island. He is holding the disc around. Maybe a reset to Bashibo. Shibo just missing the disc, Blaster maybe picking it up, slapping it to Raccoon. Raccoon going for a clear, the clear is going through, but the stack is already there. Light has come with the disc, clearing through right tunnel. The bounce maybe for a shot here, getting picked up by Tantrum. Blaster with the disc now, clearing it out. Gunny saw with the disc, let's see what he does here. He is about to get stunned out, he does pass it down to Blaster. Blaster passing it to the stack, but the stack getting stunned out. Titan with the disc now. Titan clearing it through tunnel, and it is getting gonna get trapped in trap. Gunny saw with the disc picking it up very swiftly. Go for a clear here, very nice clear through the defense. Bashibo getting the disc straight back to Gunny saw, and Gunny saw getting stunned out by Titan. Light has come with the disc, going for a shot maybe. Ooh, close shot there, hitting Pac Man. Sam Randy with the disc, Basta getting it, slapping it down, but Titan is there to respond. He is going to Great side. job. Great job from the side of Bangarang so far. At the very least, even just wasting all this time on the neutral zone. And they're happy to take that. But the pass is not good. Doesn't quite connect to Sam. As this is going to be Barstar picking up the disc now. Going back downfield. Is it good clear? No, it's not. Going to bounce unfavorably. No, but into the hands of Tantrum. Tantrum, long three. Tantrum, Gunny, Gunny. Gets the three. It's only a six-point game. Two goals. Lots of time with three minutes left. Intense match, six points, three minutes. I thought at the start of this round, Bangarang had this for sure with like the lead that they had, but Rush coming back here, insane plays by them. Insane plays, big brain in the membrane. Light has come though, walking one-on-one, -on -one. going for the cut pass though, good job from him, but doesn't quite connect the pass. Is he gonna go into the midfield? Who's gonna pick it up? It will be Bushibo. Bushibo, great job from him. Going for the slap down. Doesn't connect with anybody, but it does connect with Geo. He's gonna bounce around. Sam picking up. No, gets stunned. Gunny, Gunny. Downfield into the hands of his teammates. Definitely great read there as he's gonna go down into the bottom left. Who's there? Who's there? Who's there? It is Gunny, Gunny. Two points and it's good. It's only a four point game. Two minutes remaining. <laughs> this game. Really intense. I'm not sure. Rush has picked it up like crazy in the last few minutes. And it's, I'm not sure what's going to happen here, but I'm excited to see. We have Bangarang with disc advantage here. See what they can do. Bishibo picking up the disc, passing it down to Titan on the right side. Titan is upside down. Looking for a play. The pass to Pac Man. The stack coming in from Rush, just missing through. We do see Sam Randy is open on the left side. See what we can do here. Bishibo with the disc, playing it slow to the pass to Randy. Let's see what Randy does. Randy coming into bubble. The pass. Titan. Titan hitting the shot. Two meters away. Scoring the nice two there. The gap is six points. And we do have, I think, one minute left. And it should be. We will eight. have just over a minute left. So it's possible. But they do need some quick goals on the side of Rush. But that's exactly what Bangarang needed to do. To take this game in three. But we're going to find out right now. Rush looking to respond. Tantrum. Tantrum up to taking the disc. Tantrum passing, but not quite good. Not quite connecting. Bartstar now with the disc. Bartstar getting the clear. He's going to bounce down into the hands of the stack from the side of Bangarang, though. 
is going to go into the midfield, but the stack of Gunny is going to be there just a little bit faster on the blue side. He's going to be into, get into the hands of Bushibo. Back and forth game so far as it's just bouncing in the midfield, but this is time spent, time wasted that Bangrang will happily take, and Bushibo with the disc. Oh! Gets popped out of his hands. Not quite into anyone's control of that, yo, as it is going to go back and forth like a yo-yo. Sam clearing it down. No, Tantrum clearing it right back, but getting stolen by Light has come. Bushibo now with it is long three, long shot. Not good, and they are there to recover, but that's time spent with 20 seconds remaining. This game is over. Bangarang with the upset, dare I say, taking this game in three after losing round one with the reverse sweep. What a game. Yeah, very, very nice game. They're picking up the gameplay. Very nice. Bangarang, a bit slow round one, but then round two and especially round three, they picked up the gameplay like crazy. Very fast gameplay here. Titan hitting a lot of nice shots and very, just very nice gameplay. The passes were on point. The stacks got a lot better and everything was just really nice. And Matt, what do you have to say about this? So I think we saw that first round, Bangarang did not come out with their best. Uh, rush after that timeout in the first round came back fighting hard. They took that first game win. The second game, Bangarang turned it around. They played really good bubble defense. They pretty much got the lead and just really didn't let Rush into the bubble. They did the same in this third round. And that was actually a big difference maker in this round. Uh, Bangarang had the lead. They knew they had the time. So they would sit back a little more in their bubble, make Rush come to them. On the opposite side, Rush's bubble defense, they were leaving a guy open and Bangarang were able to find them and they were putting in those those easy goals. So they're going to have to make sure next next time that they're picking up that one person that's just open in the bubble. And another big difference in this game, Bangarang picking off those jousts, that really, that really stings on your team. When you, when you have a joust coming out and the team picks it off and puts it in for three, that's six points right there. It certainly is. You love, but you hate to see the reverse sweep. Bang, pulling it out. But also, huge shout out to both these teams. Definitely the exciting games we want to see. And Newton Dad keeping up his streak here on camps with having lots of round three games. Maybe he just knows how to pick them. I think that's the truth. So definitely huge shout out to him on cams. This wouldn't be possible without him. And this wouldn't be possible without you. So huge shout out to all of you. Thanks for taking the time out of your day, morning, afternoon, whatever you are in the world. Uh, whether you're from down under in Australia, over in Japan, in North America, or Europe, we thank you for taking the time to watch with us today. Also, this was Bloomy Shots' first cast, technically second game, but first cast, this is still the same stream. So huge shout out to him representing the OCE region, and huge out shout out to Matt, doing sidelines, analyst role, absolutely crushed it, first time ever. Huge shout out to him, this wouldn't be possible without your support and your community and your time. I'm your host, Luke. Thank you all for joining us here today. Bangarang, Rush, three game beauty. A bunch of baby ducks against Reggie Rejects. Rejects taken into what games, what night, regardless, wherever you are in the world. Thanks for watching, and we look forward to seeing you next time. Season 3 of VRML Echo Arena is brought to you by HyperX, Rebuff Reality, Asterion Products, ProTube VR, VR Cover, Fixed Gaming, and VRWare.net.